This class is all about edges. And what do you do if a traditional hem just doesn't fit the situation? But you still need to finish the edge so the fabric doesn't ravel. In this class, I, Barb Owen of Barb Owen Designs, am going to show you my three favorite ways to do exactly that. How to finish the edge and when to use those various finishes. So I'm going to show you what we're going to do to start with. First of all, we're going to do a tiny, tiny zigzag edge. So I'm going to show you what that looks like right here on this little sample. Right here. Now I realize that you can barely see it because it's done on white fabric, but I did this on purpose because I wanted you to see how invisible this little edge appears to be when you first look at it. If I and that's the wrong, the right side of it, the public side, as we say. If I turn it over so you can see it on the wrong side, you can see part of one of the finishing steps here is the trimming step. But right over here on this side, right here, is where the this little edge finish has been completely done. And you can barely see that, but that is a pretty substantially finished little edge. That's not going to ravel and ravel away on you. It's finished. It looks great. People wonder how you did it. And it's a tiny, tiny zigzag hem. So we're going to do that one. We're also going to do a tiny shirt tail hem. So I'm going to show you two examples of that. This is the finished hem right here. So this is the finished hem and it is a tiny little shirt tail hem. So I'm going to turn this over and show it to you on the wrong side. This is the the last step to finish this little this little hem right here. This is the the finished edge and again it's so tiny and nearly impossible to do that with the traditional way that we've been taught to turn it twice and stitch it. So I'm going to show you all the steps involved. So there's step number one, step number two, and step number three. So I'm going to show you all the steps to finish that. Now that's a straight edge. You can also do this same little hem on <clears throat> a traditional shirt tail shape. So if you, and I don't know if any of you sew and have ever tried to hem a shirt tail on a shirt, it is really hard to get it to look good. But right here, you can see part of the, the hem. That's part of it. That's one of the steps. There's another step here. And this is the final finish right here. And that is a beautiful shirt tail hem. The curve is nice. There's no puckering, no gaps, no, you know, no anything. And it is a beautiful finish. So I'm going to show you all the steps to do that. So shirt tail hem. And then the last one is a shell edging. And this is the shell edging right here, right down here on the bottom of this. Now this is the slinkiest knit going this thing. This is just extremely, extremely slinky, thin, almost like a lingerie knit. Not quite, but almost. And this hem, this is a great way to hem it, finish the edge, and it's called a shell edging. And that's what we have on this one. And it's so slinky, it doesn't want to stay at all where I want it to be. That's the wrong side. And this is the right side. Of the shell edging. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And there's another fabric that this is appropriate for, another kind of fabric that this is appropriate for, and that is on something that is a, uh, well, this is a sparkle organza is what this is. And this is a poly or nylon, I believe it is, it's the fiber. And it makes a nice edging, a nice finish edge for this. This stuff is like sewing on water, literally. And this is a woven fabric where this edging is a good finish. And then this one is a knit fabric and this edging is a good finish for it. So I'm going to give the camera a break because it's trying to focus on air. <laughs> that blue, it doesn't like blue very well. Apparently the camera does not like blue. It's like 
get over it camera because I'm using it anyway let's go on <laughs> sorry I digress all right let's get going what supplies do you need when you do this kind of um, 